Today we're going to look at the relationship between the surface area and volume of an object. The surface area is the total area of the surface of a three-dimensional object, whilst the volume is the amount of three-dimensional space that an object occupies. Here we have a cube, all sides with a length of three. We can work out its volume by multiplying the three side lengths together to give 27. We can also work out the surface area. To do this, you need to work out the surface area of one face of the cube which is three times three, which is nine. However, as there are six faces to a cube, we must multiply this number by the area of the face that we worked out before, and this gives us 54. But what would happen if we cut the cube up into multiple smaller cubes? We now have 27 cubes. Again, we can work out the volume. We'll start by working out one of the small cubes. They now have a length of one, so the volume is 1 multiplied by itself two more times, which still gives us 1. And their surface area is the area of one face, again, which is 1, multiplied by the number of faces, which is 6. However, we don't just have one cube, but 26 others. So to work out the total surface area and volume, we have to multiply both of these numbers by 27. This gives us a total volume of 27, which is the same as our previous cube, but a now massively increased surface area of 162. Lots of small objects combined have a much greater surface area compared to their volume when compared to one large object. This can be seen in the ratio between their surface area and volume. This has a lot of implications in biology, ranging from the need for efficient transport systems to the design of medication.